Good day everyone. Today we have some government issued free medical sharps delivered to my door. So guys, a little bit of backstory. I was trying to figure out how to dispose of sharps legally and there's so much humbo jumbo around it. I finally figured out how through the internet on one of those websites through Google and we were able to uh, obtain a free box of medical sharps so because I have a few containers of sharps that just smell they're terrible <clears throat> and um, we have an actual like legal way to dispose of this or at least store these for now until we can dispose of them properly because there's so much about the legality of short of, of sh <laughs> sharps so, a little bit of information about the shipping process of this item it was shipped in about five days from the request and it was shipped in a nice package the un unboxing the unboxing is actually on our page underneath the shorts panel and there's a link to it if you are interested so upon closer expansion, this is what I like to do with my packages. Let's analyze how the package looks. So on the fir front we have the ARXG. Now, they do have in a, a website that is listed as AmericanRxGroup.com. They also have a number as listed. However, I'm not sure about listing numbers. I've always been, you know, iffy about listing numbers on my YouTube channel, so we're not going to show that. With that being said, it is listed on their page, and like, you know, I'm not sure about like that whole guideline in itself, in of itself, because a lot of the stuff is automated nowadays, especially with these businesses, but that's, that's why I'm like, <clears throat> and we have the ARXG, AR being blue, G being blue, X partially being orange and blue, <sighs> and we have Take Back Solutions being in gray, as well as a different logo on the bottom half side and the number and website so next up we have a nice biohazard which seems to be like a US standard like shipping requirement with a max weight of 3.3 libs which is 1.5 kilograms painted in black all cast lock we have a container ID next column and here's a code, capital S, uppercase D, uppercase S, dash 1.5 QT, all in caps, dash SC, biohazard being black and with that orange around it, guys. Okay, next up we have on this side, it seems to be instructions on how to ship this back if we'd like to ship it back through the mail. So there's a pamphlet and a whole mylar bag, I guess is what you call it, <laughs> containing information on that. Um... It, it also says in caps lock on the top here instructions enclosed next column say this and in, enclosed components for disposal at no additional cost and to the right of that we have a symbol that seems to indicate the top of the box and where to open it so <clears throat> the last side would be the label itself which I, I'm not sure if I should 100% uh, just show that however <clears throat> it does come up as a just Oh, I can't really show this information. Okay, everyone, let's get into the actual unboxing. So this seems to be a very, very easy unboxing. Just pull apart this tab here and just open. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm super excited. We have a sharks container. Oh my gosh, I did not know how it would look. It seems to be round. It reminds me of the dish soap, which uh, if you actually want to make a homemade sharks container, there there is instructions. You don't have to. Uh, get one delivered or anything. Uh, I tried to look up on how to get one and I just don't have the materials. You would need like a empty dish or laundry detergent container. <clears throat> so here's the actual sharps container itself. Uh, we I will be doing a closer inspection on all four sides of it. And we just have this instruction booklet that is in a plastic bag. So let's see. <clears throat> it seems to be Let's see if all the components are sealed inside the bag or not. They are not. So, we have... Oh, this is, seems to be mail back instructions. But, uh, I'm not going to show the picture of the front here. I mean, it says postmedical.com. Use enclosed transport. And, yeah, just a bunch of information about the company itself. Uh, biohazard warning. Do not fill above this line. 
And here is a code. As it says UN3291. Regulated Medical Waste Sharps. Container ID SDS. We read that. And American Group USPS Authorization Number. USPS 040D20. <coughs> Okay, everyone, they included a lot, like sec security tape, um, this sticker that says 38 millimeter by 25 millimeter. It also says item 150100. This is actually attached to the side of this, and I had to pull it off. Closed, we have one giant plastic mylar bag. This seems to be able to hold a lot, and yeah, it just looks brand new, fresh. Has some, um message on it that says keep this bag in caps lock next column follow instructions for shipment three times printed three times in a bit and there's a black bar on the side as well paper towel like thing I have no idea, idea what it is it's not paper towel it's kind of funky it kind of scares me it seems to be my medical related we're gonna put it back there it scares me to hold it so next okay this is why I said it was gonna be a long video next we have a bundle of papers Pull it up to the side here, so let's pull up this first small paper here. It says, ah, keep your records. Check if your envelope has been destroyed at AmericanRxGroup.com for slash tracking. And then it has a tracking number and serial number where you can write down the specifics. And listed at the bottom, there is a, it seems to be a 1 million, 10 million, and then 5, 1, 3. Next up we have some security tape and uh, I assume this, I don't know exactly where it goes, uh, probably uh, somewhere on or around the actual, I'm assuming, uh, shards container here. So we have some instructions, so if you'd like to join me for a read along, uh, go ahead, uh, you're, you're free to watch guys. So we have 1.5 QT, QT mail in take back instructions with the max weight of 3.3 libs. You can track your product at American Arcs group.com for size tracking so first and foremost we have a closed container by snapping on the permanent locking lid after the lid is securely closed apply the security tape strip across the top of the lid oh so this is for mailing bag place the container inside the zipper bag remove as much air as possible oh so that's what the security tape is for and the bag place the container and the bag assembly within the ship bag box compress the box the bag and close the inner flap so we're they're, they're suggesting to ship it back in the original AR XG container hey, that is useful those are the first three steps number or actually here continuing on the third step close the two opposing inner flaps comma secure the outer flap with the cardboard tongue and let's call it four period apply the closed adhesive strip to secure the opening sealing the outer box closed so, diagram 4 is on the bottom there, above step 4. Next, locate the included shipping papers and fill out the top section and sign. Place the colored carbon copies in the shipping pouch attached in the ship dash bag box. Keep the top copy for your record in bold. Next, bring your field and shield <laughs> sealed ship bag box to your local USPS post office to ship for proper destruction. Let's see. <clears throat> so, number five and six kind of confused me, but like, it's asking for a tracking number, but like, where do we even get the tracking number? So we have to like, ship it ourselves. I don't know exactly. I don't think I have enough sharps to fully fill this yet, but we will save this paper. Put it right there. Now I'm going to show this full document because, uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, I hope we don't get destroyed for it. Let's read this next about how to safely dispose of sharps. Protect your environment, or protect your families, communities, and environments. What should you do with your used or unwanted sharps? You can mail back, or you, you can go to your local household uh, hazardous waste facility at sharpstakebackcalifornia.org and then it shows a phone number as well as a QR code and to find it, um, this material in additional language you can also scan that QR code we have the Drug Take Back Solutions Foundation funding this it seems in blue and green this paper seems to be a lot in blue and green and then we have a diagram to the right of this that says 
Why is safe sharks disposal, disposal important for public health? Proper disposal of sharks saves lives and protects the environments. environment. 43% of California's self-injectors throw needles in the trash. In 2020, 1 million people reported abusing injectable drugs. Next column or next bullet point. Placing sharps in a trash bin can cause needle stick injuries and split and spread infectious diseases like HIV or hepatitis. And on the bottom right, we have a code reading in caps lock. HC-BR13763 spacebar 1229-2023. Okay, everyone, my sharps are kind of gross. But let's just try to get this thing open, uh, open, and we're gonna put our all of our sharps in there. I have like two like small Gatorade bottles. Um, I was so paranoid about freaking you know having these like you know safely in the house, and that that's that's the best I could have done. You know, have them shoot, sealed inside the Gatorade bottle. I have them labeled as sharps containers, and um, yeah, I just pulled it off right here, and we are going to go ahead and just drop all of our sharps into here. So yeah, I hope everybody. Has an amazing day. I'm just trying to get these sharks out of this freaking bottle here. Oh, there we go. I appreciate, you know, I really wanted to make sure these were disposed properly. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're getting scrunched up in this Gatorade bottle. So much. I can't even get anything out now. I was thinking we would only get the plunger out. Oh, this is so painful, man. It's just because the way the Gatorade bottle is freaking. You no, know, when I get one out, it should be easier to take out another one, right? really sad hold on let me pause okay yeah this is bad I had to cut the Gatorade bottle open this I'm not gonna spend 10 hours getting this out this is only for sharps do I, do I only put the needle I don't understand okay everyone this is a freaking struggle but we are putting the sharps containers in there I uh, just broke a needle Yeah, definitely don't use those small Gatorade bottles, guys. I also have some tattoo cartridges that are in here. And yeah, just like the smell of this Gatorade bottle, guys, is terrible. Definitely don't mix water in. Do I, I guess I'll put the tattoo cups. I guess I'll put the tattoo cups in there. It's such a struggle. I'll leave the tattoo cups out. I guess I don't know. Well, I accidentally poked myself, but all my own blood I guess I'll just try to wash my hands <sighs> and that smelled like a dead body but we got that last needle out I'm not even gonna throw these I'm not gonna recycle these freaking plastic bottles they're so gross I'm going to throw this freaking thing away we're gonna seal this and yeah thank you so much for watching guys uh, so, so glad this thing is now er, this thing will be able to be once I put the lid on properly airtight so shout out you guys for uh, sending me this and the dog is licking like oh it's so gross okay everyone we now have a shark's container and this is not this is this is like a 35 percent full or something shout out um we open the window we'll probably get the smell out and yeah we now have like 
A little bit more sterilized of a room. A little bit more clean of a room. Did not like having those in the room. And yeah, no more needles laying around. Let's go, finally. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how many sharps or needles I can store in here, but uh, thank you, thank you, AXRG and the government for sending me this. And I'll see you guys next one, guys. Peace out.